Today I'm gonna to walk you guys through one of our gutter trailer setups. Let's check it out. So on the side door here, we have two different brooms, a small one and a big one. Also a magnet sweeper. We like to have these on the door here. It's really easy to get to them. You can just grab them and go. Makes cleanup a lot easier and a lot faster. On the other door, we hang all of our extension cords and stuff like that would all go on this door. Also just because it's easy to get to. So this trailer is eight, eight and a half feet wide. It's eight feet on the inside. We have a five, six combo machine from New Tech in here. So with this machine, we can run out both the five inch and the six inch gutter. We keep three roller stands in all of our trailers, two here and a spare one in the center there. Also at the front, we always keep our end cap crimper and our seamer along with a hole saw for outlets. The Dewalt fast charger connects directly to the gutter machine. So when we plug in the gutter machine, it charges these batteries as we go. On here, we have a little bit of a shelf for all our different types of caulking. This is the gutter sealant that we use. It's the GSL 2320 tripolymer sealant. It works really well. Up here, we have colored caulking for siding or windows or doors. This here is black, and this is a mix of a whole bunch of different things. All our templates go up here as well, along with some rags and some WD-40. All that'll be in here. Moving on here, we have ladder standoffs. We have three sets of standoffs in every trailer. We also like to keep our small ladders in the trailer. It just keeps them clean. They're easy to get to. You don't have to worry about throwing them on top of the trailer all the time. We also have two eight steps. We really like these eight steps. They're super handy. You can put planks on them and whatnot. So these are really nice. We also keep these on the machine in the trailer. Moving on to the front here. We like to use these floor cradles for our machines. We've tried the spools on top of the machine, but didn't like that. Gutter coils are far too heavy to try and get them up that high. So this takes up a little bit more space on the floor, but it's a lot easier. We like that a lot better. Up at the front, we have our light system that we just installed. It runs off of a Dewalt battery, which is nice. So we don't have to have an external battery in the trailer for our lights. We're not completely done with the lighting yet, but it's up and running as of now. We have a little giant A-frame ladder in the front. This one is really handy for working off of lower roofs and such. And at the front here, we also have a shelf. This side is just for a bunch of random tools that we don't use too often. So we'll have a bunch of different levels and specialty tools that we don't use too, too often. And on the bottom here is where we keep all our fasteners. We have two different types of fasteners. They're both inch and a half galvanized. One is with a washer, one is without a washer. The washer screw is for the Alurex leaf guards. The non-washer screw is just for your standard hangers. On the other side here, we have all our 5 8 color matched zip screws. They're all labeled and up the front here, along with staples that we use to install our soffit and more staples for house wrap and stuff like that. On the bottom here, we have all our outlets stored in this bin, along with extra caulking, hard hats in behind there, and some safety equipment here as well. All our pouches go in the front. And this trailer, we use it for bigger jobs, jobs where we do soffit or fascia. We'll take this trailer, because we have the brake mounted in here. We have a coil feeder mounted on the end of our brakes. So when we put our flat stock on, we can just roll it to length and cut it. It makes it super efficient and easy. We also have a miter saw in here for cutting soffits. So anytime we do a job with soffit, we'll pull the saw out and set it up outside. Under here is where we store all our elbows, all our hangers, all our downspouts. Everything that we're using that day will go under there. And at the end of the day, once we're done, all these scrap aluminum will go in there as well. It keeps things tidy so you can still work in the trailer. All the pouches go up at the front here. And on top here, we have a bunch of different levels. Some of these are for sidings and the shorter ones we use to level the gutters. All our impacts will be hanging here. We use a stapler for our soffits. This roofing nailer, will use it for vinyl siding. We have a tip that goes on there that works for vinyl siding. We really like that. More storage up here for 
end caps and pipe straps. We have a laser level that we hardly ever use, but it's there if we need it. A skill saw and a sawzall. We have some touch up paint in here. Leaf guard corners, more leaf guard corners and pipe straps. We also always like to keep a spare set of ladder gloves in the trailer. Leaf blower, a couple different caulking guns. This one we like for gutters. This one works really well for siding and windows and doors. We always keep two or three blue boxes in our trailers. One with a garbage bag in it for garbage, one for aluminum. It just helps keep things more tidy. On top, we have a ladder rack. On the top of the trailer, we have three 28 foot ladders and two 32 foot ladders on every trailer. And that is how we run our setup. This would be our bigger trailer for bigger jobs. We don't run this setup for just gutter jobs. This would be for our soffit fascia gutter jobs that we can do everything all out of one trailer. So this is how we run our setup currently. If you guys have any tips or tricks, leave them in the comments below and let us know what you think.